After deadly storms swept across Middle Tennessee, several tornadoes ravaged communities. One woman was killed. Meanwhile, the heavy rain has left many areas underwater at this hour, forcing roads to close and people to be rescued. Thank you for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Tracy Cornett. And I am Marius Payton. The National Weather Service confirms an EF3 tornado hit Columbia yesterday. Winds reached 140 miles per hour. Again, one woman was killed when officials said her home was blown off its foundation. More than 100 homes were damaged in Murray County, 40 of them destroyed. Our Lauren Lowry joins us now live from Murray County where people are trying to pick up the pieces today. Lauren. If there was ever a question what 140 mile per hour winds could do, just look behind me. There's a 36 foot RV that's laying on its side tonight. And the road where I'm standing wasn't even accessible last night because the whole thing was littered with trees. It's just from the effort of people living around here that's made it accessible now tonight. Many people around this area, dozens of families have been spending the day tarping their roofs, boarding up windows, just trying the best they can to, to cover up some of the damage that was caused by the storms last night. And as you look at the video that we're showing you right now on Drone 4, it does show some of the destruction. And again, dozens of families have been affected. Our Brendan Tierney was here on the ground in this community minutes after those storms rolled through. Brendan, you're back again today. There's just so much that these families are going to have to deal with. Yeah, Lauren, people that we've talked with say they've never seen a tornado like this here in Murray County. They're thankful more people were not hurt or killed by this storm as they're now starting that cleanup process. The sound of chainsaws roaring can be heard across the area this EF3 tornado destroyed homes. Michael Lester considers himself lucky after he got out of his safe place to see the damage. There was trees laying everywhere. An army of volunteers has been helping in his neighborhood, using heavy equipment to clear the massive branches the wind snapped like toothpicks. Everybody here has been working their butt off today. I mean, there's. 50, 60 trees laid across the driveway that they got through in an hour. TDOT crews have been working for 24 hours now to clear roads. Governor Bill Lee stopped to serve workers like James Hargrove lunch. He says the storm caused pure devastation. You just couldn't get nowhere. It was just impassable. James was part of the first crew on scene and worked through the night trying to help first responders get to families. You see a house that's not there anymore. That was there. It's like, wow, how did this happen? He says safety is their top priority and power lines wrapped in down trees is slowing the cleanup process. But people like Michael know it's going to take years to repair what this tornado took from them in seconds. It's going to take time, so don't come out here and hurt yourself. Make sure everybody's safe. And everyone we've been talking with keeps saying that this is something they're, they're not used to seeing in person. They're used to seeing it either on TV or in movies, Lauren. And it's something that it's going to be a very long repair process as they're still tonight trying to wrap their head around all of this damage. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's huge, right? It's yeah. everywhere you look in this county. Thank you, Brendan. And as 